Tremolo is a really cool technique. They do it in classical, and it's four strokes. It's, it's thumb, ring, middle, index, and then again. Can but you, in do, flamenco, can go you, ahead. Okay, do just the first part of that and repeat oh. it slowly. using your nails yeah and I'm using have, my nails have acrylic nails going on or anything I actually I do I, I just did a show last night with flamenco dancers and you sometimes you really got to dig in because you are the drummer in the whole orchestra so for those things I do put nail glue on my nails mm. and a little bit of acrylic powder well actually I use five second nail glue and the five second nail glue powder I put a drop on my nail cover it and then I and then I just salt and pepper the powder on top of it and it dries in five seconds and then I do another I do it again another drop and then some more powder it dries and then I file it and then file 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 and you put that on your first three fingers and your thumb yeah most people do it with their pinky too but I, I don't need to put it on my pinky because I use a slightly different technique right. when people do these rasqueado abanicos the proper way to do it is to put your fingers in a in a fist and start with the pinky. Right. Like that. But I learned on my own before I took proper lessons. I was just going by ear. So this felt more comfortable to me, which is starting with the index. Right. So since my pinky comes last for some reason, it doesn't have to grow as long and I don't need to glue on it. So, do you still rest your thumb on while you're doing those four finger strokes? Yeah, I usually hook it under the low E like this. Right. So that would be another of the seven techniques, right? I suppose it would be. <laughs> what are some of the other basic flamenco? Okay, well, well, I was showing you tremolo, but that was classical tremolo. It's four strokes: one, two, three, four. But in flamenco, of course, you got to make everything hard. Those are assholes. So <laughs> you got to use five strokes, which is. Thumb, index, middle, ring, index. So you have your index working twice as hard. Alright. Alright, slow that down one more time. There's Thumb. a difference in sound. Here's a classical one. Nice, it's in quadruplets. But these are in quintuplets. Flamenco, tremolo. So run that by me again. It's thumb on the low note. Thumb and then index, middle, or I'm sorry. Thumb, index, ring, middle, index. Thumb, index, ring, middle, index. And you just do a continue. So it's in quintuplets. So when you put it into a rhythm, it is kind of weird, right? It doesn't sort of match up as nicely if we're if we're going fours sounds good but you try and do that with fives it's kind of weird so what we what they use it for is more of a lilting effect so not quite so much in strict rhythm but you know um, cries a little bit more. Sure does. That's awesome. Any other uh, key basic? Oh, there's a, I mean, there's a lot. These, these rasqueados, for instance, there's so many different kinds to use. Like I showed you the, this is the proper way with the, and then this is the way I do it. And then there is triplets. There is right. another way to do triplets. You tell can do tell me about the differences between those two triplets you did. All right. Well, this one, I don't even know if other people do this, but this is the way I do it. Um, uh, I go uh, index down, middle down, and index up. Interesting. And that's it. So if I'm doing like, if I'm playing like um, Queen's Reich, Queen of the Reich, for <laughs> instance. The old flamenco classic. Yeah. <laughs> it would go like. Um, <laughs>
that type of deal. So that's how I can use those triplets. Dude, you're getting so much metal energy out of the <laughs> flamenco technique. It's awesome. <laughs> you know, it's I I think that flamenco and metal are are just the the. They're, they're like brothers, you know, they, they both share this complexity, intensity, aggression, uh, virtuosity. They, they have, um, they, they really relish in the exotic and, and minor scales. And so uh, it just seemed to fit for me. I don't, I don't know if other people have done it, and I hope they did, but the reason why I started the group Flamental back in 2005 is because I wanted to hear flamenco and metal. And there wasn't anything or at least anything that I could tell that uh, I liked so I had to start I had to start it and it's just kind mm -hmm. of developed into what I'm doing now amazing now of course there's a two finger single note technique to the two fingernails right index and middle oh yeah the picado <laughs> thing and it's just alternate with rest rest strokes resting on the on the, on the right. lower string right as you pluck one yeah. finger lands yeah. on the other. and you know some people say you don't slip it like here I'm using my middle finger and I go middle finger and then middle finger middle finger index I can slip some people say you have to alternate every time right. Uh, personally, Paco de Lucia didn't do that. He he did the slip finger technique. It's called, um, and that's it's pretty uh, you know classical and flamenco guitarists know what I'm talking about here. Um, all it does is I don't even think about if I'm doing it or not. I'm just yeah. thinking about going to the next yeah. note the most efficient way possible. Fantastic. Can you just add one more thing and show us like the kind of when you the percussive hits? Oh hits yeah, the guitar. Well, there's all kinds of ones, and there's some that I've developed that I don't think uh, worked before, but uh, there's a golpe. You can do, um, you hear it at the beginning, and you hear it at the end, so. You can hear my thumb hitting the tap so plate. So describe you, you're striking below the strings. I'm striking body. below the strings, and, and it hits the body first, and then comes up on the strings. So that's an upper upside of your thumb. Yeah. Right? And then fingers down, thumb down, and then again, thumb up, but it hits the body first. So I go. He's so you can really barely slowly. hear this, but it it, it yeah. caps the encapsulates the the rasgiato. Right. So there's that. Sometimes we hit the gold base as we're. Striking a chord with the thumb down on the strings, but we hit the go away with our middle fingers and Even just one string with a go, wow. it just gives you the, a little bit of extra balls And I yeah. see your your Cordova guitar here has a clear Pit guard that goes above and below the strings. Yeah, they, they call them uh, golpedores, and they're basically just a clear pack pit guard. And you can see I've, mm -hmm. I've gone way beyond it too and, and made dents in the soundboard, but whatever. You know, these things have to be played, they, they can't remain pristine forever. So yeah, man. some airplane, some airline is going to mess it up someday, anyways, <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah, well, Willie Nelson's on your side with that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>